Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2022. Now, let's take a brain break. Sitting comfortably, just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So eyes open, a soft focus. As you breathe out, you can allow the breath to return to its natural rhythm. But just keep the eyes open for a moment. Just focusing in on one particular object within your field of vision. Such a great way to start off the day. And now for our word of the day. Hey Randy! Hey Alex, I found out that it's impossible to hum with your nose closed. Wow, that's a pretty outlandish fact. Yeah, it's a bizarre or uncommon fact. I was actually pretty surprised when someone told me it. Speaking of outlandish, I also know a crazy fact. Shrimps have their hearts in their head. Wow, now I know two really cool facts. Yeah, me too. <laughs> See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. It's great learning some new words. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Destiny. Sports fans, fitness guru Michael Maraglia created a marathon that you have to see to believe to become the world's first strongman marathon champion. This challenge involves 26 miles of some extremely difficult exercises like tiring tire flips, daring handstand walks, burpees, and even carrying a whole person. All of these were done in between miles of intense running in a heavy 20 pound vest. Michael completed this marathon in a whopping 9 hours and 18 minutes. The race was last year and not surprisingly, he has still not been challenged yet. Do you think you can take on this challenge? Now let's go to Sonia to see what's cooking. Thank you Scott! Today's lunch sure is yummy! It is charbroiled hamburger, hamburger bun, baked beans, some spiced veggie juice, applesauce, Mustard, ketchup, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please be sure to let your teachers know if you will be receiving that today. But see, let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Sonia. That sounds absolutely delectable. Sports fans, girls volleyball tryouts will be held in the gym on August 10th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. And boys flag football will be held in the gym on August 11th from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. If you have any questions, look for Coach Lee. Good luck and don't forget to try your best. Patriots, tomorrow and on Thursday, you don't have to bring a backpack to school. Enjoy the feeling of a heavy weight lifted off your back. Hey, Patriots, let's check out some highlights from our spring music concert. Enjoy. All right. How we doing tonight? We're here for a great treat and a great show. These musicians, these talented musicians, worked very hard the last three to four weeks preparing music for you to hear today.
Now let's see what the weather is going to be like today with Aiden. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today we expect a stormy 88 degrees with sky thunderstorms. We're six days into hurricane season, Patriots, so you can expect some more rainy days. In other weather news, a tornado started to form and also changed cloud formation. When tornadoes form, you would always think of the classic swirly looking formation. This formation got mixed up with the clouds causing the cloud to change the shape. Although this can look fascinating, you have to be careful because tornadoes can cause damage. Well, let's see whose birthdays are today with Angelie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Ladarius Roberts, Sebastian Morales, and Micaela and Lillian Hayes. Happy birthday! Thanks, Angelie, and happy birthday! Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners. Congrats to Ms. Carter, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Stone, Ms. Manon, Ms. I am Dinkwa, and Ms. Only. You all had the correct answer to Monday's trivia question, which was, why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? The correct answer is to fetch a pail of water. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What is a group of stars called that form an imaginary picture? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we're all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day.